Hello, fifth year. How are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, so today is Thursday, the 31st of July. It's sunny and cool. We're going to check, first of all, we're going to check pages 56 and 57 from the exam maximizer. Then we're going to go to pages 96 and 97. Today we are going to revise reported speech. So it is a good opportunity if you are having questions or um, any doubts with uh, reported speech. Of course, we will go and highlight the most important things and changes on the grammar reference on page 155 from the class book. Atención, su hijo o hija tendrá revisión de las unidades 7, 8 y 9. So, study for next class, please, okay? Notificado. Homework, pages 58 and 59, exercises 1 and 2, exercises 1 and 2, menos el ejercicio 3. ¿Está? Read the sign of 4, chapter 5, 6 and 7. Yes, 5, 6 and 7. Más brainstorming, más activities. Ya sabéis que son las activities on the book, ¿ok? Más las actividades que trae el libro, ¿ok? Porque vamos a corregirlas también, ¿eh? ¿Ok? ¿Ok? And then you have to read it, write your brainstorming, do the activities. These activities, the activities that are in the book help you to um, remember vocabulary, to remember parts, the parts of the story, the most important part. And then when you finish your reading, your brainstorming and the activities, we are going, you are going to record a three minutes video explaining chapter five, six and seven. Is it clear? This um, video of three minutes plus the brainstorming plus um, well, the brainstorming and the, uh, the brainstorming plus the video are la nota para la segunda etapa, para la última etapa de, <coughs> sorry, literatura complementaria. Así que, aquellos que no leyeron para la primera parte, por favor, necesito más interés y responsabilidad para ver para la segunda parte. ¿Está? Ok. Well, so let's go to the correction. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, okay, pages 56 and page 57. 56 and 57, all right? Good, 56 and 57. One, call. Wait a minute. Two, A, three over four, B, two, C, one, D, five. Exercise three, one A, two A, three B, four B. Better answer B. Exercise four, yes, exercise four, three. You put a tick in number three. Don't forget, don't omit. There were only two pages of homework. So don't and plus the composition number 18 that you have to hand in today. But this is not a lot of homework. So take your time to do the reading activities, yes? In this way, this is the only way you can be better in reading, in the reading skill. Is it clear? Good. Exercise two. Two, one D, two C, three B, four B, five A, 6C. Is it clear? That's all. Bye bye, activity book. Shall we go to, um, I will go to the explanation of report to speech. Then we are going to go straight to the book, the activities there on pages 96 and 97. And you are going to be free. Yes, so once we go there, yes, but first, once you go there, you are going to go quickly to the exercises. But first of all, I'm going to revise everything as, regard, uh, as regards um, indirect speech or reported speech, okay? Well, so pay attention now. Um, well, I need more space. Wait a minute. Yes, okay. I was supposed to have 
is prepare, but yes, I was preparing other things uh, for the class. Yes, okay? So you will wait. Yes, okay? Well, um, first of all, we are going to go to orders. Yes, okay, I don't want, I don't, I want to use a lot. Don't smoke. Stand up. Yes, okay. Good. Well, do you remember the changes? Yes, okay. So this is an order. Don't smoke, stand up. Mama said the teacher told me. Yes. Uh, teacher Ruth told me, this is a reported word, told me, told him, told us, etc. You already know this. To open the door, I don't, perdón, 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 to not to smoke. Is it clear? Teacher who told me not to smoke. Oh, another reported pair can be asked me. Los más comunes. Ask us, asked me, ask him, ask her. Not to Not to shout at Is it clear? So pay attention when you are going to do the changes because teacher Ruth told me, teacher Ruth asked me not to shout at her. Yes? Because we are going, we are talking about teacher Ruth. Yes? Okay. Supóngase que decía Peter. Peter told me not to shout at him. So, whenever you are uh, doing a reported speech or indirect speech, you have to read the sentence first and see what changes you are going to do. Okay? So, pay attention there. Is it clear? So, then we have another affirmative. Teacher Ruth ordered me This is another reported verb. You can have many reported verbs, yeah? Order us to stand up. Okay, is it clear? So, you have this. Yes, okay. Not to. Yes, not to. Infinitive or to infinitive. Is it clear? So, these are orders, okay? I have already explained with her. With, in from third year, you know indirect speech, but then here, for example, what you have, the different thing you have here is that um, uh, the exercises are different because they are more complicated and longer. Yes, so you have to have the grammar very clear. Okay, is it is it clear? Yes, is it done? Okay. Yeah. Good. Bye bye orders. Yes, okay. Hace tu cuadrito, Nazarena siempre tiene cuadro. Yes, okay, good. Well, let's go to affirmative sentences. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Attention. I am cooking this cake for cake for my mom. I will start with this first. Yes, then I will change. Okay, is it clear? Good. So I highlighted, I circled this and mine. Yeah, because I will have to take care 
um, pay attention there, yes, because of the changes, okay? Bueno, ¿qué vamos a hacer entonces acá? This is an affirmative sentence, and we can say, it. we can say, Teacher Ruth said, entre comillas, queda la frase igual. I am cooking this kettle. Teacher Ruth said, dos puntos, entre comillas, la, la frase igual. But the same sentence, okay, it's the same. But then I can say, Teacher Ruth said that present simple, uh, present continuous, responde en casa, por favor. ¿A qué pasaba present continuous? Past continuous, ¿ok? Y el que no se acuerda porque está totalmente perdido en otra estratosfera, va a tener el cuadro mientras yo explico en la página 155, 155, y va a ir teniendo en cuenta y marcando todos los cambios. Present continuous, past continuous. And the changes, ok? Así no te agarra tan en Bali, yes? Ok, in the moon, yes? Ok? So we have, uh, Teacher Ruth said that she was cooking. Así el cambio voy ya en tu mente, eh? Así me ganas. That she was cooking. This, pasa, muy bien. That cake. For su mamá, her mom, ok, her mom, I like this grammar, is it clear? Good. Pam, 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 me voy a curar tanto porque voy a romper el material, ok, good, there we go. That is better? I think yes. There we are. Good. It was raining a lot and my flight was cancelled. Cancelled. Yes, cancelled. So we have past continuous. Past continue, fíjate, a ver, lee, 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 past continue, past continue, past continue, ah, yes, past perfect, yes, ok, past perfect, entonces tenemos dos tiempos verbales, it was raining, past continuous, past perfect, y tenemos was, past simple, past simple, past simple, ah, yes, ok, So, past continuous, past perfect, yes? Is it clear? Yes? Past perfect, yes? Is it clear? ¿Te queda claro este cambio? Yes? So you have past simple, yes? Or continuous, yes? Past simple, past perfect. Past continuous. Past perfect continue. Yeah? Are you ready? Teacher Ruth. Puedo decir, said, dijo, pero ahora voy a cambiar. Voy a decir, told me, told him. Teacher Ruth told uh, her husband. Le dijo a su marido. Husband. That, atención, it had been raining, estamos en pasado continuo, pasado perfecto continuo. Had been, ya estás en quinto año, o sea que este cuadro tiene que estar acá. Yes, ok. It had been raining, pa, 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 
and ojo, 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 and uh, ojo con my, yes, ahí está, and el vuelo de quién, and her flight, her flight, had, ¿a qué pasamos? A pasado perfecto, had been cancelled. Is it clear? Yes or no? Yes, okay? Entonces acá, teacher Ruth told her husband that she, nadie me avisó, ah, it, estaba bien. It had been raining and her flight had been cancelled. Okay, me voy a otra. Esto te queda re claro porque lo puedes rebobinar, poner de nuevo. Yes, qué bueno. Aunque sea la tecnología nos sirvió para algo, para que me tengan con report to speech para ver y ver y ver. Y nos dicen, ay, estuve en la clase y no pensé nada, no entendí nada. Ok, my sister sent you a present. Um, my parents, cambio acá, eh. My parents, my parents said that, o told me, voy a usar mejor, ¿está? Told me that my sister está en pasado, ojo, eh, pasa past perfect. That my sister had sent, ojo el cambio acá, a quién? Me a present, busco rapidito que pasaba yesterday, yesterday. Oh, my travel seems so far away. The day before. Muy bien. ¿Encontraste? Yes? Okay. Did you find it? Espero que no lo hayas leído, eh? Okay? Don't read it. Okay? The day before. So, yesterday. Por eso dice adrede algunas que tengan cambio. Yes? The day before. Is it clear? O... Oh. Did, uh, my parents said that my sister had sent me a present the day before. Has sent me a, the day, a present the day before. Is it clear? Good. Okay. Ah, it's a little. Paul will see his dad next Monday. ¿A qué pasaba next? ¿A qué pasaba next? Next, next, next. The Monday. The previous Monday. Yes, okay. So, Paul said that he will Words. Muy bien, alguien me contestó, Martin. He, uh, o oh, quién fue, Sandy. He would see his dad next, the previous Monday. Is it clear? Yes, okay. Can we go to questions now? Yeah, podemos seguir a preguntas ahora. Yes, question. Yes, no question, and then the age question. I will give you uh, an example for each of them. I have another one. Paul sing beautiful songs. Paul Sing, can sing, beautiful song. Hacelo en casa. Teacher Ruth told me that Paul can, could sing beautiful songs. Okay? Teacher Ruth told me that Paul could sing beautiful songs. Esta es larga, la pego. I have been working, I have been working for... I have been working for five, for five hours. 
Yes. Teacher Ruth told us that she, present perfect continue, past perfect continue. She had been working for blah, 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 blah. And she, present perfect, past perfect, had written mm -hmm, of her new book. Ojo ahí, eh. Ojo con los cambios porque esto va a depender, yes, de quién dijo. Él dijo, ella dijo. ¿Es it clear? Muy bien. Ok. Mm -hmm. I ask no question now. Have you seen my dad? Have you seen my dad? So teacher Ruth asked me, teacher Ruth asked me, asked him, vamos a cambiar, asked him, asked his brother, her brother, perdón, her brother, if, atención acá con el if, if it is a yes, no question, vamos a poner if. Teacher Ruth asked her brother if he, porque a él le preguntó, if he, present perfect, a past perfect, had seen, had seen her dad. Yes? Acá sería, have you seen that? Seen el my, porque es el papá nuestro, ¿ok? Teacher would ask her if. Yes, acordate. Yes, no question, if. Damos vuelta, habrá otra. Did you arrive? Did you arrive? Did you arrive on time? Teacher Ruth asked, asked uh, her students if they had, ojo, Past, past perfect, arrived on time. Is it clear? Yes? Okay, yes, no question. If. Si habían llegado. Vamos a una W, two W, WH questions, okay? Te queda en este video todo, así que no puedes tener uh, problems with indirect speech. When? Where have you been? Teacher Ruth asked her daughter where, where she had been. Los cambios ya acordate de memoria. Present perfect, past perfect. Past continue, uh, past, uh, past continue, past perfect. Okay, is it clear? Yes, will, would. Yes, see. Otra, what time you are going to come? Teacher Ruth, teacher Ruth asked, este puede ser otro verbo también, eh? A report to her. Asked her sister, what time she was going to arrive? Yes? Okay, go with two. Is it clear? Right. No te queda más que repasar todo. Can we go to the pages? Okay. 96 and 97. 96 and 97. I want everything highlighted. Everything highlighted. Okay, on page 156. Is it clear? Right. Well done. Okay. If you have any question, let me know. Okay, good. So, 96, page 96. Yes, okay. Are we there? Right, right, right. Good. Well, so, uh, when did you last buy 
from a bending machine. I, I, I have never, uh, well, maybe once, but it was a long time ago, but I am not used to uh, buying on a bending machine. Are you used to buying on a bending machine? So when was the last time, oh my God, my board is very dirty. Yes, uh, when, was the, when was the last time you bought on a bending machine? Yes, are you used to buying on a bending machine? Yes or no? Okay, well, I want to know. But first of all, yes, speak at home. Yes, okay, whenever I introduce a speaking topic, I want you to take your time and speak at home. No, I know, pero voy a estar hablando sola casi nada. No, don't say that. Yes, I'm not going to talk alone. Yes, okay. It's the practice. You need to practice, okay? Well, we're going to read part of a survey interview. What do you think the missing words are? Listen and check. So now you are going to complete this text. The bending machine is back. And then I'm going to play it. And you are going to check. We are going to check. Is it clear? Right? Pam, 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 pam. Unit 9. Okay, complete it. Yeah. Of course, now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? Right. Okay. I will play it, but you pause the video, please. Take your time. Yes, complete the text. Grammar focus. Activity 2. Do you like the idea of this new type of vending machine? I don't think machines like this will be successful. They'll break down all the time. Have you ever used one of these machines? Do you like the idea of this new type of vending machine? I don't think machines like this will be successful. They'll break down all the time. They break down. They break down all the time. Yes, okay. Good. Um, but have you ever used one of these machines? And it says, I bought some, what? I bought some mm, there, but I thought it smelled awful. Yes. I bought some perfume, some shampoo, some cream. Time. Have you ever used one of these machines? You have to predict. Yes, I have. There was one at the airport when I went to Canada last month. I bought some shampoo there. Shampoo, yes. But I thought it smelled awful. Can you see any disadvantages to using these machine, machines? Yes, I can. There will be no one to. There will be no one to. If we don't like a product. To. What do you do when you don't like a product? You call. Complain with that. Can you see any disadvantages to using these machines? Yes, I can. There will be no one to complain to if we don't like a product. I think the companies companies are just trying to to more to more and more money. How do you say hacer dinero? Muy bien, coma, make. Yes, what happened to the girls? Yes? What happened to you, Tere? You are not answering the questions, okay? And you, Anna? What about you, Nasa? Hmm. Okay. I think the companies are just trying to make more and more money. They don't really about the customer. They don't really care. They don't really care about the customers. Customer. Okay, well, so now you are going to take your time Yes, five minutes to do this and read the extra extract of a report the interviewer wrote about the survey. Underline the changes of tense from um, y acá ojo, tienen el estilo directo. Está? Está? In, a, in the activity two. Yes? Okay? Good. Are you ready? For example, I asked if people liked, 
Yes, okay, blah, 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 machines, woman said that. She didn't think, okay? Highlight them, please. Okay, one, people liked, didn't think, would be. Yes, van viendo los cambios, ¿no? Yes, is it clear? Good. Would be, would break down, anyone ever used, have ever used. When he had gone, anyone could see, he could, there would be, didn't like, thought, were just trying, didn't really care, ¿ok? Entonces vos tenés arriba el texto en estilo directo y acá tenés el texto basado en estilo indirecto, en indirect speech, ¿está? En report speech, entonces... Eso es lo que teníamos que subrayar. Arriba, por ejemplo, decía people like. ¿Yes? Pasa de presente a pasado. Don't think. Didn't think. ¿Yes? Ok. Uh, will be successful. Um, bueno, good be. ¿Yes? Anyone. ¿Dónde está? Anyone. Ok, will break down, yes, ok, is it clear, and then the rest, there was, there has been, yes, uh, they bought, they have bought, they have bought, ok, so remember you have all here, and in this text, is in report speech, yes? Entonces, antes tenías que pasar por una frase, pero ahora necesitas más, con, más concentración porque tenés en un context. Is it clear? Let's go to exercise four, yes? Okay, exercise four. Choose the correct option. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Number one, change. Number two, don't need. Number three, if. Number four, do not. Number five, sometimes. Exercise five. Present simple, past simple. Present continuous, past continuous. Present perfect, past perfect. Past simple, past perfect. Will, would, can, could. Is it clear? So now we are going to do, you are going to do exercise six. Uh, concentrate and turn these sentences, uh, report more question and answer from the survey, okay? So, remember, yes, no question, mm -mm. if, and then, WH question, what, and the test. Okay? Now is the time that you pause the video and do the activities, and then listen to the answer. I asked Paula, Paula, if she could use these machines in the future. I asked Paula if she would use these machines in the future. And she said that she loved the idea and that she was always forgetting important things. Yes? I am always forgetting. I was always forgetting. Yes? Okay? Present continued past continued okay when she was uh well when she was traveling yes when i am traveling when she was traveling yes okay porque estamos diciendo lo que paula dijo eh bueno después ella dijo it will be great and it would be great yes to have them at airports and places like that number two do you know anyone i asked from is if she knew, no, in present, knew, past, anyone who, anyone who has used, present perfect, past, past perfect, had used one of the main machines, and she said, a friend of hers, present perfect, past, past perfect, had bought a burger from blah, blah, blah. Exercise three. 
I asked Jonas if he thought that this machine would replace with, pass a word, normal shock. He said that. He didn't. Present a pass. Because when um, we buy expensive things, we sometimes need advice from salespeople. Is it clear? Well, okay. So, uh, I want you to go to uh, the speaking part and I want you to look at this photo, yes, and discuss what it tells us about the future, yes? What about uh, the future of fashion? What do you think? Uh, do you think fashion will change? Do you think we are going to change our way of um, uh, buying clothes, our way of, um, I mean, do you think designers uh, will change the way their designs, the way their design and their designs, yes? Do you think they will uh, use LED lights? Uh, do you think you will buy uh, this kind of uh, clothes, yes? How do you imagine clothes are going to be, yes, are going to be in the future? Yes, so I want you to talk about it at home and then I want you to complete this clothes. This is a clothes, yes, and see, yes, remember, first of all, you have to scan the text to have a main idea, a main, a main idea, a main idea of what it is about, and then predict what words do you think will go there. Is it clear? So now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? Number one, fashion plays an important part in most of people's lives, but what? Good, we'll be wearing in the future. A recent TV documentary came up with several, came up with several possible answers and they were really interesting. To start with, it seems that in the future, we'll be able to design clothes ourselves online. That would be great. With the help of someone, of some very clever software, okay? So we will be, we will be helped by an intelligent software, yes, okay? Of course, I think you will have to have an idea, uh, um, yes, well, it will be free, yes, but if it, it, it would be better if you have an idea of uh, how to design everything, yes? We'll be able to create what? The exact ex style and measurement, measurements, yes, of a dress or a suit we want in our favorite material and then, what else, have it made by the company and deliver to our door. That would be great. Of course, we will be able to see how it looks on a virtual image to, of ourselves um, so that can change anything that looks wrong. If we want to try something a little different, we'll be able to buy interactive clothes. This will be, oh, mm, this will, okay, be, yes, te dije ya la respuesta, will be made from so-called smart materials that use something called wearable technology. For example, your disco, your disco dress, yes, might, could, may, the three possibilities are okay, have patterns of lights that you can control or that change automatically when you rest, uh, dress, um, when you dance. And of course, um, if we uh, will be able to design our clothes with this um, uh, software help, I think that it would be very interesting that uh, the dress or the, um, the item of cloth you are, clothes you are wearing changes according to your mood. For example, uh, different colors, if you, are, if you are sad, a color. If you are angry, another color. If you are uh, stressed, another color. If you are in love, another color, yes? 
and it could be a way of communicating yes your feelings that could be a that could be a good idea yes okay well um making plans for a top that wear which uh will what give you a hack when someone texts you okay well or how about a t-shirt that you simply spray onto your body from a can oh my god the pain hardens into a material and later you can take it off and wash it well okay uh, maybe they should invent a cloth a cloth that uh, wash it well it says here you can take it off and wash it but um, it can work work automatically yes so uh, when it's dirty it should be clean in some minutes like uh, did you see um, come to the future Yes, okay, we're going to Futuro. In some part, in a part, that when he goes to the future, yes, his uh, jacket, it is very famous, uh, this part too. Uh, his jacket, jacket is uh, wet, yes, and he has a Nike uh, shoes, and now they are, I think they are buying these uh, trainers, not shoes, trainers, but um, the... the the jacket is wet and he press a kind of button and then it's completely dry yes and he can also uh, change the, um, the the size of the jacket that could be you know that could be very nice okay uh, comfortable yes okay interesting number four which of the ideas in the article do you find most interesting well you have to say this at home I have already talked Yes, as I talk, you have to talk at home, like answering what I'm saying. Teacher, I don't agree with you, or I have seen this part of the film because it was one of my dad's favorite film, and so on. Exercise five. Now is the time that you use your knowledge of tenses to complete these sentences. Stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, all right? Good. There we go. I will go straight to the answers. Okay, number one, use. Number two, have. Number three, have. Number four, been. Number five, would. Number six, have. Okay? Well, that's all. Remember to do the homework. Okay? You have to do from the exam, Mice and Mice, pages 52 and 59, exercises 1, 2, 1, 2, menos el 3. Okay? Remember, para aquellas personas que no hicieron la literatura complementaria del primer, del primer cuatrimestre, ahora te quedan los tres capítulos 5, 6 y 7. Read the chapters, do the brainstorming and the activities in the book. Yes, on the book. Yes, in the book. And record your video telling me what is it, what these chapters are about. Okay? Well, I wish you a happy weekend. See you next class. Bye bye. See you here.